Hello, in this video, I am going to demonstrate the sliding motion between two bodies. So, for this demonstration, I have selected the static structural type of analysis system from the analysis systems available. So, in this static structural analysis system, I have kept the engineering data as a by default. So, uh, by default, the material for the static structural type of analysis is a structural steel. So, I have kept as it is. Then, in the geometry, I have created two bodies for this demonstration. In order to see these two bodies, I right click on the geometry and click on edit geometry. So by doing this, you have opened the design modeler window. So in the design modeler window, in the left side, you can see the tree outline. So in the tree outline, you, you can see the two extruded bodies. So first extruded body is the base. Remember while extruding or while creating this base, you have to make one change in the operation that you can see in the details view in the details view and under operation by default here there is an option add material so you have to choose or you have to change this operation type from add material to the add frozen so by doing this actually you are creating two different bodies that is this base will be different body and this sliding object will be the different body if you select add frozen similar thing i have done it for the extrude 2 that is this sliding object i have selected the operation add frozen so you should remember this in order to create two different bodies you have to add operation you have to select the operation as a add frozen so this is the important point point while creating the geometry now again open the workbench window in order to open this model window a right click right click on this model click on edit so it is asking that upstream data has been modified since it was last read would you like to read the upstream data so click on s so this is nothing but the model window now here you can see in the geometry interface you can see the two solids or two bodies that you have created in the design modeler now you can see on the left side this is the projectory under model option you can see geometry coordinate system and connections so in the geometry if you expand the geometry you can see the two solids are there first is the base on which sliding object is going to slide and second solid is the sliding object then under the coordinate system you don't have to do anything click on connections expand these contacts you can see the type of contact between these two bodies here it is a frictional solid to solid remember the type of contact will be automatically generated by the ANSYS workbench but initially the type of contact will be bonded so I have changed this type of contact from bonded to the frictional by using the options available under details of this type of contact so here under the definition the type of contact initially it was bonded I changed it from bonded to the frictional so as you select the type of contact frictional you need to enter or provide the frictional coefficient value so I have selected or I have entered here 0.3 as a coefficient of friction now this is about the connections then right click on the mesh option and click on generate mesh so by doing this you are uh, discretizing this body into elements and nodes so meshing is completed now this model part you have completed 
you have selected the type of contact and you have completed the meshing now under static structural click on analysis settings in the analysis settings for this simulation you don't have to do anything keep the all the settings as it is then to this model you have to apply the standard earth gravity click on this standard earth gravity so if you look at the magnitude of standard earth gravity it is minus 9.8066 meter per second square and it is in y direction this negative sign indicates that this standard earth gravity is in minus y direction so if you see the reason behind i have given this uh, standard earth gravity in minus y direction so if you look at this object it, this object is kept in xz plane so earth gravity must be applied in minus y direction so i have selected the direction of standard earth gravity in minus y direction then you have to apply the fixed support fixed support is applied to the base to all faces so you, you, you can see here under the details of fixed support you can see the geometry consists of six faces so i have applied the fixed contain constraint to all the faces of this base then you have to apply displacement to this sliding object so this is the sliding object and i have applied the displacement in negative z direction so this is the z axis and i have applied the displacement to this sliding object in the negative z direction if you look at its magnitude its magnitude is minus 0.09 meter that is a 90 mm so minus 90 mm displacement i have applied in the negative z direction so this is about the settings under static structural option now all the settings are completed now right click on the solution and click on solve it will take some time for the solution now under solution i want to check the maximum principal stress and maximum shear stress so you can add this such parameters by right clicking on the solution you can right click on solution go to the insert go to the stress and you can add any parameter that you want to check for your case so i have selected here the maximum shear stress and maximum principal stress from this op available options now in order to see the maximum principal stress click on maximum principal stress and you can see the maximum value of this maximum principal stress is 470.77 and its unit is pascal and the minimum stress is minus 198.84 pascal so this positive sign indicate that the stress is positive that is tensile in nature and negative sign indicates that the stress is in compressive nature similarly if you click on maximum shear stress the maximum value of this shear stress maximum shear stress is 152.92 pascal and minimum value is 9.94 into 10 raised to minus 14 pascal so this is about the maximum principal stress and minimum principal stress if you want to animate the variation in the stresses maximum principal stress during the displacement of sliding object you can click on maximum principal stress then go to the graph and just little bit expand this window and click on this play button so in this way you can see the variation in maximum principal stress during the displacement of a sliding object you can see the maximum value minimum value and the time duration for the analysis or simulation the tabular values for this result you can see in this tabular data if you let expand this little bit you can see the values of stresses 
maximum principal stress with respect to time and its graph you can see here similarly in order to see the variation in maximum shear stress during the displacement of this sliding object click on maximum shear stress and click on this play button so you can see the variation in maximum shear stress during the displacement of sliding object now this is about the simulation of sliding motion between two bodies additionally if you want to check the stress at the bottom surface of this sliding object so if you want to check the stress at the bottom surface of this sliding object click on this base solid which is indicating the base and a right click on this solid which is indicating the base right click here option hide body so this base will get hide now click on this rotate button and rotate this sliding object now you can see the bottom surface of this sliding object now again click on this maximum shear stress maximum principal stress you can see the so in this way we can simulate the sliding motion between two bodies so in order to bring the system to its previous state right click on solid and click on show all bodies just click on rotate button and bring the model to its original position so in this way we have created the two geometries we have defined the connections we have selected the frictional type of contact between two bodies previously it was bonded then we have done the meshing then in we have applied the standard earth gravity in minus y direction then we have applied the fixed support to this base we have applied the displacement to this sliding object in the negative z direction and then in the solution we have checked the maximum shear stress and maximum principal stress for this simulation so if you have any problem or any query related to this simulation you can mention in the comment section so thanks for watching this video